Hello everyone, and welcome to NFLHouse.com's player interview. My name is Eric Galco, owner and director of Scout Insight, and I'm joined today by Jared Dillard, record-breaking wide receiver from Rice. Jared, how are you today? I'm good. I'm just uh, excited about this upcoming draft. Now, I wanted to start by bringing up something rare in an NFL draft prospect. You were ranked first in your class academically in high school, and Rice is known for being a very smart uh, academic school. How much did Rice's academic prestige play into you choosing them to play football? Oh, well, you know, it was just, you know, it's my only D1 offer, only, well, really only college offer, but I'm looking on scholarship, so um, my decision to go there and not was quite easy. You know, I just didn't have any other opportunity, so I went there and made the best of my opportunity. Okay, now, now you've been successful in your studies there, of course, but well, you've also been well-known on the field, by the fans, and in the record books. Uh, you've, been more, you've had more than just a laundry list of accolades starting with uh, first all-time in touchdown receptions in college with 60 in four years. Well, you may be a humble guy, do you, do your astounding stats ever make you say wow? Uh, you know, every, you know, I just, at the end of the season, I kind of uh, look at what I've done, and you know, I kind of you know, sit there and say, you know, you had a good year, a bad year, but, um, you know, everything that's happened, I put in hard work for it, so you know, I visualize everything that's happened for me and right and all the, the records and everything, that's all come hard work, so, you know, yeah, you're, you're proud of what you've accomplished, but, you know, I know there's so much more I can do. Okay, and while you hold tons of records, you and your partner in crime, uh, quarterback Chase Clement, have been the Payton to Harrison connection in the college ranks, having most career touchdowns between two players. How has your connection to him been so effective throughout your tied careers? Uh, it's been very effective, just because of uh, the hard work we put in and just knowing where he's going to go and you know, him knowing where he's going to be. That's been a big help in this season that we've had at Rice since our whole career. So chemistry is really important to watch a quarterback. And with that chemistry in the field, we uh, were able to use it on the field. And, uh, and use it. Okay, now, now you participated in the East West Shrine game a few weeks back. How was that experience, and how do you think you did? Uh, I think I did well at the East West Shrine game. I just continued playing my game. I didn't do anything you know, special. I didn't do anything uh, different than what I've been doing at Rice. You know, I think I. Uh, had a great week of practice, had a great game, and, you know, I just ready to play ball. Okay, now on to your uh, NFL draft preparation. What have you been doing to train for the draft since the season ended? Uh, you know, I went to Nashville, and I was training at Nashville for the past seven weeks, and, you know, just working on that 40 time, and working on, you know, vertical, broad, I'm working on all the little tools that we use in the NFL draft, but, you know, there's no way to get compared for that combine. That combine is a different monster, but, um, I think I'm successful at it, and I think I'm happy to help hang over my head a lot. You know, talking about the NFL Combine, how do you think you performed in the most important part of the Combine, in my opinion, the interview process? How do you think you handled that? Uh, I think I did very well with the teams that I interviewed with in the formal and informal interviews. I think uh, they got a real good feel of who I am and you know, how, I, how I am in practice and in game day. I think they film on me and they see me in person and have a conversation with me. I think uh, the interview process went well with them. Okay, good. And how do you feel you compare with some of the other players at your position? It's, it's been talked about as one of the better wide receiver classes in the past few years. How do you think you stack up with other players at your position? Uh, I think I stack up well. You know, I think uh, what I've done in the past and what I've done on, have done on film is, uh, you know, it's really stepping into the light. I think, uh, you know, if you want to turn on my film and you turn on uh, the TV, you'll see that I've got a good wide receiver that I fit right in with the back of all the other receivers. Okay, and in the NFL, they have ginormous playbooks that must be known inside and out. From everything from a West Coast offense team to a power running team, where do you think you fit best at the next level, either team-wise or scheme-wise? Uh, I think I can fit best in any team that's just willing to work hard and win. And, you know, I'll, I'll play inside receiver, outside receiver, wherever i got to play to, you know, be successful and help the team in history. That's, that's, all I, that's all I can do. You know, I, I'm not really worried about um, you know, who I'll fit well with because I think I'm a player that I can you know, be coached up enough so I can fit well with him. Okay, uh, what do you think is the best aspect of your game that will get you into the NFL rotation the quickest? I think it would be just catching the ball with my hands and keep the ball at its highest point, and then I keep my vertical leaping ability to uh, my advantage, and I jump up and I go keep the ball instead of what's going to come to Okay, and where do you think you need to improve before the draft occurs? Uh, there's, you know, multiple areas you can improve in, but I would say uh, cracking on the linebacker going in and digging a linebacker out for the run. 
Uh, that's something I haven't done in a while. So, uh, you know, getting better at that would definitely help me in the next level. Okay, and while you brought it before about, you know, your catching ability, also your route running and overall production in college has been astounding. But your speed and size has raised questions, you know, post-combine. What do you say in response to those question marks? I think there's plenty of guys in the NFL right now that are very successful that probably aren't as fast as maybe they aren't as big, but I can look at some of the bricks even Jerry Rice. I guess he ran a 4 6 in the 40. But yet he's in the record book in the Hall of Fame of NFL as one of the greatest receivers to play the game. And he looked at Marvin Harrison, one of the shorter receivers. You know, he's looking at what he's done in his career. You know, he, you know, he uh, will still he'll be one of those Hall of Fame receivers. So, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, you can find knocks on anybody, but yeah, I think once you just turn on the film and watch him play ball and get out there and playing the game for the rest of the game, you can't say anything negative about that. You know, you can say a guy is taller up in the back and stuff, but if a guy gets a job done and produces, it doesn't matter. Okay, and finally, for all the scouts out there listening, give me your best selling point that Jared Dillard should be a high pick come next April. Uh, production. I think Jared, you know, I have a. Okay, great. You know, I've been a strong advocate for you in the past few years, and I think you can live up to your potential you've shown in the field. Thanks for your time, and best of luck with the rest of the draft prospect, Jared. Okay, thank you. Well, that was Jared Dillard, record-breaking wide receiver from Rice, and that concludes our interview for today. Thank you very much for visiting NFLHouse.com, and feel free to shoot me an email at eric, E-R-I-C-G, at NFLHouse.com. Thanks again.